Hola, buenos días, guys. John here. Con mi bebecita, 420. He say hola, baby. Uh -huh. 420. So, it's appropriate that she's doing what she's doing right now because I got this request. I got a comment from a guy. He said, uh, um, he did, he, commented on the 80 year old driving the working girls prices up video he said hey john good morning tell us some more about the music these girls like who are the singers and the bands thanks so a lot of it is like for here in mexico especially is like the narco corridos they call it that because it's like the music that the narcos listen to and uh the corridos is like kind of like the genre that they kind of like classify it as so i told him all right i'll do a video of that and then so what i want to do is uh share my spotify playlist with you guys so that way uh you know you guys can okay so here's the thing guys like if you ain't got a spotify premium account or like an apple music premium or some kind of uh music uh, service that you're paying where you don't get the ads you need to pay for it i suggest spotify because that way it's easy to share playlists and stuff like what I'm going to do right here. I don't have it on Apple Music. And then um, what ends up happening is that when it's uh, when it's when you're playing music, hanging out and you're using one of these free uh, services where they play the ads, the commercial is going to come on in the middle of you guys hanging out. And like imagine all you guys having a good time like this, you know, and then all of a sudden a big ass loud freaking advertisement comes on and then ruins your entire mood and you guys are like gotta wait and then you can't choose the next song that you want to listen to or one of the girls wants to listen to so you're like limited in so many ways and by you being cheap like that not wanting to pay whatever the amount is 10 bucks a month or whatever um then you're gonna ruin your chances of building comfort and you're gonna look cheap to the girls you know and you're just gonna like kill the vibe that's the worst part you know so don't be cheap go get that and here's my tip for you guys like i didn't realize it but i saw that uh because i was paying for spotify premium in the u.s and it was double the price of what it here is here in mexico so here's a trick like next time you come to mexico uh and when you're connected to like mexico carrier or wi-fi sign up for the spotify account if you already have one um you're probably gonna need to cancel that one or wait till it expires and then uh, set up a new one with a new email and open the account here in Mexico and then you can go um, you can open your account down here in Mexico and then when you go you'll notice that the prices are like half the price of what it is so I got the, the Spotify family plan and it's cheaper than what a, a single plan costs in America and so I just share it with like her and like all my other close girls I gave them access I gave them their own account so that way they don't got to pay and they can like make their own playlists and not listen to commercials and stuff and like listen to whatever music they want to listen to and so it's a nice gift for them they appreciate that so that's my tip for you guys in this video is to um, get a Spotify family account premium and do it in Mexico and then pay for the year in advance and like you could go pay at the OXO so you're gonna have to create your account and then get the year pay for the year because then I think you get a discount too if you pay for the year and then uh, that way even though you go home back to US Canada wherever you're from Europe you uh, will still have access to your Spotify account and then you'll get a notification at the end of the year that your account has uh, is due and you need to pay it so um, go back to Mexico again and pay set up the uh, Take a screenshot of the barcode for you to pay once you log in your Spotify account to renew it. Then you can go and get your account for super cheap and like at a fraction. And then the other thing is the other five accounts that are on the family plan that you're paying cheaper than what it would be in the U.S. for one single account. You can give it to your closest girlfriends and tell them, hey, you don't have a Spotify account. Dude, they'll appreciate it, you know? Like, instead of giving them money, like, they'll appreciate that because it's something they can use and every time they use it, they'll think of you, you know? And so that's what I'm talking about. Like, money just comes and goes, but when you do these things, like, uh, that they use every day, like, uh, like her, I got her Apple Watch, they use it every day, so they appreciate it. They think about me all the time, you know? If I just gave her money, she'd just blow it and forget about that I ever gave her money. 
you know, so that's what I'm saying. Here's like, if you can hear in the background, this is kind of like the narco corridos type um, music that they all like. And like, I'll share with you guys the uh, Spotify playlist that I put together and I update each time a girl, uh, <laughs> each time a girl, this is Chichis pa la banda, titties for the band. She's got enough of that, look at that. So sexy, and perfect song for her. And she's gonna make a joint for us right now, a big fat one. So like what I was saying, I update my, um, I have a hot reggaeton playlist that I put all these songs on. I, let me see how many songs are on it right now. It's got uh, 45 and a half hours worth of music. I don't know how many uh, songs are in this. Um, but like, so what I do is every time a girl comes over and plays a song they like, I add it to this playlist. Or if I hear a new song on the radio that they're playing, I add it on here. So that way I already have uh, the songs lined up in the order that I added it. So it goes by the newest one. So I just can play them like that and like have it just play. If the girls are coming over hanging out, I just let it play on the thing. So even though I don't change it, it's got a good flow of music for all the girls to hear. And they're going to be surprised when you start playing this kind of stuff. Like, how the hell do you know this music? They're going to be in shock, blown away, especially if you're not Mexican or you hardly speak Spanish too on top of that. They're going to be impressed, you know? So that's why I'm like telling you guys that um, it's an Okay. So you can have all the songs, they'll be impressed when they see it or you're already playing it. And like when you're coming down or going anywhere, have a Bluetooth speaker with you, a nice one, invest in a good one. Um, if you want my recommendation, it's called the Oontz, O-O-N-T-Z, Angle Curve Ultra. Make sure it's the Ultra, that one's louder. It's, it's small and it's super loud. It can bump music really loud for what it can do so it's easy to uh, transport with you when you go on trips. Get that and have that playing on the on the thing already before you even walk in the room have it already playing already so when they come in but like music's already playing they're gonna be like dang this guy's fucking ready you know first impressions mean everything you know you want to get your status up and let them know you know what you're doing and you're a fun person to be around with that'll make them want to hang out with you and like i said like when she's doing smoking the weed have some weed even if you don't smoke weed get some and let them roll it and smoke it and you can hang out and like fucking chill with them have a drink have drinks ready in your place you know i have uh coconut water too because i just went out with a 72 year old and i'm hungover so like in case they don't drink you can give them a coconut water or some kind of juice to drink you know and for me i'm drinking it because like i drank too much with the guy last night he kept buying me lots of drinks with the girls and stuff and so you know at least we started super early because i don't like coming home super late and that helped a lot i told him hey let's start early today because i don't like when we come home three or four in the morning and fucks up the rest of the day the next day you know and uh you don't get to do a good workout you don't get to do your routine that you normally do so it was great that we started early and it's not it didn't make a difference if we start early or start late because it's the same thing we're going to be doing in the daytime that we are doing in the nighttime it doesn't change the environment and the atmosphere of that place doesn't change so it's the same 24 7 so i told them let's go early so we could end early and we did end up a lot end a lot earlier than we normally do which was around like 11 30 last night instead of 3 30 you know so that's kind of like my advice for you guys so um if you guys want a copy of the spotify playlist um shoot me an email and i'll i'll send you a copy of it that way you guys can add it to your spotify playlist and don't forget send, sign up in mexico i'm saving you a lot of money and uh letting you be able to help the girls and give them a nice gift that they're going to really appreciate if you um help them out and give them one of these and like Shit, even for another one, buy another family. If you if you use all the spaces for your family playlist, buy another uh, family uh, Spotify account. That way you can give them all, <coughs> all the cute, cool girls that you really like uh, access to a playlist. <coughs> I mean, not to a playlist. <coughs> Give them their own account. 
It'll go a long way, guys. <laughs> So you hear some more of that narco corridos that they like. But I think it's popular, more popular in like Mexico. I'm not quite sure in like the other Latin American countries if it is. Like I know in the other Latin American countries, they for sure they love the reggaeton and Bad Bunny and J Balvin and all that stuff. You guys can't see it in front of the mirror. She's checking herself out. And that way, you guys can give the gift that keeps giving that they can use for an entire year. And then, okay, so when the year comes up and, uh, you know, you're not in touch with them no more, or they don't care, or you found out they're more just all about your money instead, or whatever, they don't really care about you, then don't give them access when you renew, because every time you renew, you have to send another invite to them to give them access if you um, have to renew the account, and it when the account went, uh, what's it called? After, it, you, you already are late on the payment, and it cut off your premium account, um, and you need to go pay, it cuts off everyone's account so that way you have to re-invite them to the family account so that'll allow you to start over your list again if you have new girls you want to give it to and the old girls aren't even using it or listening to it or in communication with you no more then you can give it to a new girl that's my advice guys so yeah shoot me an email if you want to uh get the spotify playlist and i'll send it to you and then you guys can add it to your spotify playlist and make sure you download it to your phone so that way even if you don't have internet the songs will still play and you don't got to worry about losing signal or the song buffering or if they put on a new song that's not on your um save list you won't have to it won't take time because if the internet sucks it, it'll have a hard time downloading it I said one of them make one out of the purple weed now so those are my tips for you guys follow those and you'll like stand out from a lot of the other guys out there and then uh, if all the other guys look how purple that is it's muy morada okay, this is the purple weed like really dense snugs of like, purple really good so we're smoking the green weed right now. Now she's gonna make some joints out of the purple weed. But yeah, guys, so that's the advice for you guys to do. Follow that. And like I said, you'll stand out from all the other guys that they're seeing or hanging out with. And like, imagine if all the guys start doing it, then we don't send out. Then we don't stand out no more. Uh, si, sí, creo no tenemos ya, ya no tenemos por los blunts. <coughs> no, maybe tenemos que comprar muchos por los blunts. Si, sí. let's take a photo. Um. Dude, she gets hotter each time she fucking comes here, man. Every time she comes here, she's getting hotter and hotter. I'm watching her, like, blossom before my very eyes. And my friends that know her, too, they say the same thing. Like, dude, every time she comes over, she gets hotter and hotter. So crazy. I said a cigar para la gente puede ver. There you go. They're all done by freehand. I gotta use the machine. I use this. Well. They roll nice joints. Yeah, no toma. 
you don't want to drink no more. Then once you guys have the playlist, you can just fucking play it. And you'll be just like here, hanging out like what we're doing. See that? They fucking memorize the words to all the fucking songs. Imagine they got memory. The girls are smart, man, because they can memorize all the lyrics to all these fucking songs. If they actually just applied that bueno, to like verdad, business or learning some shit about sí making money. Culero, pero... <sighs> she said the joint didn't come out so good, but we're still gonna smoke it. But it looks good to me. Okay. Yeah. This is her favorite song, she said. Oh, I love this song. She wants you guys to see the beach back there. Another tip, guys. Like the ones. Wow. She just blew it all out and sucked it in with her nose and then blew it out again. <coughs> That's how good they are. <coughs> so, like, I was gonna say, guys, uh, <coughs> for the songs that they really like. Or that you really like, that they, you know that they like to put a heart and put it in your like. There's a uh, there's a thing that says like songs, and you can put all your like songs there. So your most favorite songs, the favorite songs, you could already have them on like a playlist that's called your liked ones. So that's another tip for you for your Spotify. Chucky. 
It's her birthday in two days, so I don't think I'm gonna see her because I'm going on a surf trip on that day. So we're celebrating today. Take her out. I don't know what I'm gonna give her for a gift yet. She wanted an iPhone uh, 12, and uh, she actually saved up all the money for it. And she was telling me like, "Oh, why don't you get me the iPhone 12?" And I said, "Yeah, right." girl wants an iPhone too, but I don't buy phones for girls, cause, you know, they use it to talk to other guys, so like, what's the point? And then she's like, aren't I worth it? I'm like, yeah, you're super worth it. So I was actually considering it, guys. But, like I said, I don't really like doing that. Because they use the phone to talk to other fucking their broke boyfriends and like other dudes they're going out with, so you're kind of like contributing to the problem. That's why I don't like doing that. But I'm trying to think of something better to give her that she doesn't already have. Um, that'll be a good gift. I can't give her a watch because she already has that. I was thinking to get her one of those Bluetooth speakers too. Maybe I'll get her a, that Bluetooth speaker that I told you guys about, and then maybe another bong. That goes a long way. They love that shit. Get her a nice bong. I think that'll be good. All right, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And I'll think of anything else that might be good for her. If you guys got any good gift ideas, write it in the comment too, that it's kind of like memorable that they would use all the time and like, so that way they would always think about you. Like, Bluetooth speakers, books, you know, bongs, Apple watches, you know, those things go a long way. Tablets, phones if, if you want to give them, but like I told you why I don't like giving out phones. Cause I see it. I see what they're using their phones on, you know? Tell my girlfriend that too. I'm like, you want me to buy you a iPhone 14 Pro Max so you could just use it to talk to other guys. And she's like, I don't talk to other guys. I'm like, whatever. Who knows? Even if they say they aren't, like I've seen enough to where I'll stick to the majority. And if she's not talking to other guys, then it's a a nice surprise or a nice fucking. to like be surprised by oh. so yeah I guess that's it guys I gave you guys enough uh, um, what do you call it advice for the Spotify playlist getting stoned and slow now and buzzed early in the morning so we'll have to cut it out cut it short <laughs> alright baby ya termino terminamos Adios. Bye. Pura vida. Oh, look. See, her nails are all chopped. I'm going to get her her nails done, too. Take care of that. I always get my girl's nails done, too. She always wants her fucking nails all the time. It seems like every week that they want their fucking nails done. Okay. Bye, guys. Adios. Pura vida. Bye-bye. All right, guys. So... I'm putting together these groups, the my Jedi Master Inner Circle. So there's going to be two levels to it. You're going to have the Jedi Masters, which are the guys that are making 100k or more per year at least and have been well traveled, have a lot of experience and know of different places that we can go to experience and find beautiful girls and be able to share amongst everyone and give advice to other people as well. And then we're also going to have the young Jedis that maybe aren't as experienced or just starting out in life or are young and don't really have much money, but they want to live this lifestyle. They're being inspired and they want to start and learn and be able to communicate with each other. So that'll be the second level. And of course, the Jedi Master level can will be in both so that you'll have the Jedi Masters also helping the young Jedis by answering questions uh, for people that are new. And then the Jedi Masters 
what we're gonna do is have like trips maybe once a year where all of us Jedi Masters come together and have go to a destination where we'll be able to experience all of this together and share and network and share financial advice, how to make money. It'll be how to make money, how to deal with breakups, how to meet girls, pretty much everything that you're seeing on my video, my videos that I'm teaching, we'll be able to network and do it in person and put, put together um, these groups and meetings for people and kind of be my, me as the connector, connecting all of you guys together because I'm getting all these messages from people from all walks of life in different parts of the world. And a lot of you guys tell me that you don't have anyone to share these experiences with or share your stories and share all the knowledge that you've uh, accumulated throughout the years. And once you communicate with me, it's like you're spilling your entire story because you're so excited to tell someone finally because there's no one else you can take. You can't tell your friends, can't tell your family, and there's no one you can ask questions. There's no one you can uh, share these intimate details with. And so I wanna bring you guys together with other like-minded people that are watching my videos and kind of want to live this lifestyle as well. So if you're interested in joining the Jedi Master Inner Circle, I'm still putting together all the fine details, but I'll put you guys on a wait list. Send me an email and let me know which Jedi Master uh, or Jedi part level in the Inner Circle that you want to be in. There's going to be either the Young Jedi or the Jedi Masters. And the Jedi Masters is going to be 500 for you guys to join that's the, the screening process and then we got the young jedis for 50 bucks that way it's affordable and the 500 is to screen out obviously if you're doing well 500 isn't much and then it keeps out the people that aren't serious it's kind of like the how to weed out the people that aren't really real and of course there's going to be moderation and there's going to be uh con like con content moderation where i moderate who gets in and interview the people that want to come in to make sure they're real and that way everyone that's in the group is actually there because they want to be and that they share this similar outlook on life and want to live this type of life and level up even more make more connections make more friends kind of like me and Tim the 72 year old that you've been seeing interview and other uh, people you haven't seen in my videos uh, that I hang out with it'll be kind of like being into the inner circle and make make these kind of bonds that will last a lifetime and these kind of memories that we can share together and have some awesome adventures together so if you're interested, send me an email and then put wait list you'd want to be on. And then as soon as I'm ready, I'll notify all you guys that it's ready. And then we'll put you guys in maybe a Telegram or a Discord. Or I'm still trying to figure out the logistics. But once it's ready, then you guys will be invited once you uh, pay the entrance fee. And then we'll get you in. All right, guys. That's it. Adios. Pura vida. You say adios, baby. Adios. Uh, <laughs> bye. Well, like guys, if you uh, coming down here to Cancun, Playa del Carmen, I have friends down here as well that can take care of stuff. If, if you're heading down to Costa Rica, I got friends in Costa Rica that can help take care of the stuff. You know, help uh, assist with transportation and activities and lodging and things like that. And then the business that helped me live this life is the credit card service business. So if you own a business and you're still paying the credit card fees. You don't have to do that anymore. Stop wasting your money. You could be enjoying it every month instead of like whatever you're paying to the bank, a thousand, two thousand to the bank every month you take it and go on a vacation look at the ocean how beautiful it is down here and the weather is perfect it's so early in the morning i'm already sweating it's tropical and like people are swimming down there if you could see and I, the only thing i wish that was down here is the that there was more waves but like i said if you own a business uh you don't have to pay for the fees you can use it for vacation take your family out reinvest in your business or whatever it is you want to do on with it it's just it's way better than wasting it paying it to the bank and getting nothing in return so that's it. Uh, send me an email or write in the comments. I'll be glad to help you out. All right. That's it for now. Talk to you guys later. Adios. Pura vida.